you get a lot of traffic and a lot of exposure through whatever channel you use uh, it may be instagram it may be you get like a lot of views on your website or maybe you attended a ton of events this month but you have no increase or like just very few increase compared to the volume that you're actually getting maybe your post get picked up online and you're getting like a lot of likes and exposure and followers on your instagram account but there's no increase right from that traffic so what could be the problem so problem number one is either you targeting the wrong audience you have to create everything that you do it has to be designed for your ideal client and it's very important to know who they are however you can be talking to like a little bit of wider audience but it has to be your target audience where your actually potential clients hang out right and the things that they're interested in but if you're talking to an audience um that is overseas so they're not gonna be your clients because they're not gonna fly out from out of country to to take a picture with you so while it's nice to be liked to like you work to be liked somewhere in Germany realistically if you're located in Maryland US you will not be working with them so I don't want you to focus on like being liked a lot somewhere overseas when your actual clients are here in your area that you're gonna serve and who actually potentially gonna pay you for your services or the other way of like having a wrong audience maybe they love your work but they they don't actually have the money to invest into your business to pay you for your services so they're looking for freebies and it's just not the kind of client that you're looking to work with okay and number two that could be wrong is your messaging so you're just not clear enough on what you do what kind of photography that you do who do you do it for like what is your ideal client what uh, what kind of services you provide how much how to work with you for example and sometimes people will not even know that maybe you're actually offering some sort of services they may think that you're just like exploring and like doing beautiful creative work just for yourself for for fun or you're not clear enough on what type of genres of photography you're working in so it's very hard to understand if you actually provide so for example if somebody's looking for a boudoir photographer and they see your work they like it but they don't see the exact thing they're looking for and you may be offering that service but it's nowhere nowhere to be found so you're less likely to be booked for that so that's why you don't get that inquiry because they don't see what they're looking for on your account for example so for example you see some inquiries coming in and they're coming in on a consistent basis but you have very few bookings from those inquiries uh, for example you get 10 inquiries and you get maybe one photo shoot from 10 inquiries so working with inquiries it's much more important than working with the traffic on social media because these are the actual the people who are interested enough in your services that they took the time to actually write you a message and find out how to work with you you need to put a lot of effort into working with those people because this is where you can actually get paid you either bringing wrong people again through those traffic channels so somehow they still wanted to work with you but they have different expectations so they're wrong clients so they can again like no matter what do you say to them it's probably not the client that you want to work with to begin with and again you have to check if you see like there's a lot of people asking for you know discounts cheaper prices to give them away everything for free or just some type of things that you don't do don't provide um check your you know your funnel and what kind of audience you're talking to what kind of messages you send to the audience what kind of people bring um you bringing through in your business three door now number two and that's the number one thing that you would think about as a photographer maybe the combination offer or your package of your images versus the price of your offer it does not make sense or it does not look attractive to your potential clients who submit an inquiry or they just get confused with your pricing and a lot of people will be actually they will not ask a question they will be just like embarrassed to like okay i don't get it i don't understand it's too confusing but i'm too shy to ask questions because i don't want to um seem like you know like a stupid person who cannot understand like the simple pricing this photographer does um so for those people follow up 
and ask like, hey, do you have any questions? I'll be happy to help you. Or maybe record a video of yourself going over the pricing, explaining everything, because sometimes it's easier for some people to hear it from you rather than seeing it on paper. So make it very compact, very easy to understand, very easy to read, because again, nobody has time to read like, 13th page PDF with all of your pricing and all of your products. They're just looking for some idea of what do you charge and then they can work with them later explaining all the little details depending on the project that they, they're inquiring about. And you don't get enough bookings simply because you are not following up with people. If you don't hear from a person for 48 hours or more after you send them the information, simply follow up and say, hey, just wanna make sure you received my email. Do you have any questions? Be nice, we don't have to be salesy about it. We're just checking if they got the information that they requested. They were interested in you, in working with you. They wanted to get your information, so please make sure they did get it.